In this video, we're going to be finding the area of shapes on a coordinate plane. Area is the amount of space inside the boundary of a flat two-dimensional shape. So unlike perimeter, the perimeter is the total distance around the shape. The area is the amount of space inside of the shape. So two area formulas you should have memorized are the area for the rec a rectangle, which is length times width, and the area of a triangle, which is one-half times length times width. So, for example, let's practice just doing basic area problems. Find the area of the following rectangle. So the area formula for a rectangle is length times width. And let's say the length is 12 feet, so times 10. So the area will be 120 feet. And then for our units, you put squared. So 120 feet squared would be our answer. Now let's find the area of the following triangle. The area formula for a triangle is 1 half base times height, or length times 1 half times length times width, which is the same thing. So 1 half times the base, which is 8 times the height, which is 9. So area will be 1 half times 72. Half of 72 is equal to 36. And our units is feet, so feet squared. Once again, for area problems on our units, we square the units. So 36 feet squared. Now, let's move on to something more difficult. In order to solve these problems, we are going to have to use the knowledge that we know for the area of a rectangle and the area of triangles. So find the area of the following shape. So the first step to solve this problem is you want to make a rectangle out of this shape. So in order to do that, I'm going to draw in some triangles. It's a little off, but... Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area, the total area of the outside rectangle. So I'm going to find the area of this rectangle right here. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. So to get the length, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, and then times the width, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our total area is 35. However, that is not the area of our shape. We have some extra triangles that we do not want. So we're going to be subtracting off those triangles. So what you need to do is you need to find the areas of each of the triangles that you do not want. So the area of this triangle right here would be one half times your base which would be two times two. So the area of that triangle is two. The area of this triangle is one half times three times eight actually no, three times three times seven so half of twenty one is ten point five and then this area of this triangle is one half times the base which is two times the height which is one two three four five so half of 10 is 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract off these areas because I don't want those areas from 35. So 35 minus 10.5 minus 2 minus 5. So my area 
would be 17.5 units squared. And that would be my answer for that one. Okay? I'm going to do one more example for you so you can see this again. All right, let's look at this problem. So find the area of the following shape. So my first step is to make a rectangle. To do that, I'm going to add in some extra triangles. Sometimes you might have to add in extra rectangles also in order to make a rectangle, a large rectangle. So the first step is to find the area of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is length times width. So the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times the width, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the total area is 25, but that's not my answer. So now you go through and you find the area of the triangles that you don't want. So it's 1 half times 2 times my height, which is 3. So half of 6 is 3. This one will be 1 half times 1 times 3. Half of 3 is 1.5. This one is 1 half times 1 times 2. So half of 2 is 1. And then the area of this one is 1 half times 1 times 2. Half of 2 is also 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract off the extra area that I do not want. So I'm going to subtract off those areas. So it's from 25, from the total rectangle. So 25 minus 1, minus 1, minus 1.5 minus 3 and I get my answer to be 18.5 units squared and that's all there is to it